I think a lot of them, I mean, there obviously is a, a clear process. If, if anybody at any level puts in expenses, they have to be signed off on uh, by another party. What we found in a lot of these expenses was uh, Mr. James would sign off on Mr. Lenz's and vice versa. Um, there, there were some that, that go to uh, financial services uh, and they get sort of questioned uh, and ultimately sort of pushed through, it was my understanding, by the clerk. Uh, but a lot of the ones we're seeing was uh, one individual would sign off on the others and then vice versa. The scope of the report looks at, I think, 18 months or so. I'm sorry? The scope of the report looks at about 18 months, right? <clears throat> how, before that period of time, how widespread do you think these issues were? How far back do you think the states and, and what could that mean in terms of the amount of money of public, uh, the amount of public money that was misspent? Well, if we're looking at this, uh, you, and you're, you're exactly right, it is 18 months, uh, and we're talking about sort of in the millions of dollars range when, when everything is calculated. So if we went back even to sort of 2012, I'm thinking 18 months, you know, millions of dollars, well, we can all do the math on that. And the reason I, I referenced 2012 is, of course, it's right in the report, uh, Mr. Le or excuse me, Mr. James uh, cutting himself a check for $257,000. Uh, and, and then essentially writing it off as a, a retirement allowance. Uh, there's documentation proving that payment uh, took place. Uh, there's documentation proving that at no time in any way, shape or form uh, was he eligible for that. Uh, and even if he was eligible, which he wasn't, he didn't retire. That was a retirement allowance paid in 2012. Uh, and it's also referenced in the report, he, he recently uh, sought a, a further $300,000 as a retirement allowance. Uh, it, it, it's, it, it's amounts to nothing short of madness.